What's up, guys? Hello, and uh, happy Thursday to you all, if it's Thursday where you are. If not, happy whatever day it is to you. Oh, that was a bit fucking epic, wasn't it? Uh, my phone has been a real dick lately. It's just not working, and shit's getting real. So if this doesn't work, I'm going to fucking erupt into some kind of death roll. Whatever that is. But anyway, yeah. Um... Thank you so much for the positive response to my last video, which was me just doing an improv uh, show of how to do your biceps, like a training thing. And uh, yeah, if I was all puffy, puffed out and stuff like that, it's because I'd actually already finished my workout and I thought I'd throw that in at the end of it to show you. So yeah, I got a good positive response and you guys liked it. So I guess I will be doing different body parts in the future to show you guys if you can. Let me know if you can in the thing bit thing. So yeah, that was good. Cheers. Um, right, what have I been up to? What have I been up to? I have been enjoying the uh, sunshine a bit. It's very it's sunshiny today, as you you can see up in the business. It had a nice day. I I was gonna sit in the sun so you'd have better light and you could see me better than that, which is disturbing for you. But <laughs> um. I was in the sun for an hour training before, so I did my shoulders and some core work today, and it took me an hour, because I'm trying new things, which was nice. I started keeping a proper training diary, which is a good thing. If you're going to train, keep a training diary of what date it is, what exercises you're doing, and how much you're lifting, and how many reps. Oh yeah, and the last video I did, I told you to do eight reps of each exercise, but you have to do four sets of eight reps. So as in like just the barbell curl, I'll use one for example, you do eight, then eight, then eight, then eight, and then you go to the next exercise. So I didn't make that very clear. But you know, I was munted in the head from lifting, so you get that. So there's a bit more of an explanation. I've been uh, work, getting my work on. We've had uh, lots of work lately. And yesterday, guess what I got paid to do? I had, had an optical technology fair. So I do optics for a living. And uh, the company put the uh, optical technology fair on to give us more of a background into our company, which is I work for um, Carl Zeiss Vision, which is a German company. And uh, yeah, they deal in all things optical, like lasers and glasses and all that. So I do the more glasses and calculation side of it. So that was freaking awesome. I didn't realize how much cool stuff we made. Like we did like the Google satellite lenses and stuff like that. But I didn't know that we did stuff for like the military and um, like lots of medicals and we're the leaders in the world at making microscopes and all that sort of stuff. Like I found out yesterday that we make laser guidance systems for tanks and, um, you know, like missiles and stuff like that. I had no idea that we did that, you know, and uh, yeah, I thought it was pretty, pretty cool. And we make like the planetarium 3D projector things that do that sort of stuff. We don't have many in Australia that I'm aware of, but, you know, apparently it's the juice around the world. So I'm gonna show you some more weather. Look at look at this. Look at it. Look at it. Yeah, it's so shiny and bright. So I've been doing that. Yeah, I had that yesterday and it was cool. They gave me a hat and merch, which was which is kinda nice. So that happened. Um been spending lots of time with the the, the Bexorian, my my lady, and uh took her out to visit my took her to visit the family and we went for a walk with my uh, mother and Beck got fried by the sun and turned into a bit of a lobster. So she was, a, she's, she was a bit red for a while there. It, it's, it's getting better now. I got to rub aloe vera all over the burn, which made me happy. So it wasn't a complete loss. I don't know, it depends on who you ask. If you ask her, she'd be like, oh, burning. But you know, yeah. So that happened. That's been things I've been doing and whatnot. And I caught up with Maz and stuff on the weekend, and I'm catching up with some of the I Am Sucks crew, hopefully this weekend for a Barbie and stuff. So that'll be nice, because I haven't seen them all for regularly for a while. Now I'm going to do my uh, tips and advice section now. Uh, okay, I couldn't do it last time because it was just like an improv video, but I'll do it this time because I have them written down. The first, I've got two questions from Gunnery Sergeant Dev as I change hands. Fuck, my shoulders hurt. Uh, do, 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 do. What would I do uh, if a force, how would I deal with a force of 10 robot ninjas? That is a good fucking question, because nin well, like ninjas are hardcore as it is, and then you add robotics, I'd be in a bit of trouble. I'd probably get help. I'd probably uh, ring in old uh, old Freddy, and we'd uh, get some hardware and go to town on their asses. I don't know how we'd come out, but you know, if we took at least two or three of them down, I'd be quite happy. So yeah, that's what that's what I'd do. We'd, we'd fucking open up on them. 
Second question from uh, Mr. Mr. Dev, the gunnery. How do I stay motivated? Well, it depends on what it is I stay motivated, like whatever it is I'm doing. Like some things, regardless, because everyone's human, you're going to be more motivated about than others. But uh, to stay motivated, I like keep my eyes on the prize, as the saying goes. Like, you know, like if you want to get motivated about a project, say you look at you, you try to focus on the end result and what it's going to be like, and uh, that should give you the, like if you want to do something, you're going to do it. If you want to be half ass, you're going to be half ass. Like, like Yoda said, there is no try. So. Fucking try and and go hard. I mean, it might, might not work out the first time, but if you keep keep going and going and going, and you feel better about it. You got to fail to succeed, I think. So, yeah, just focus on the prize, and every time you like achieve a little something, keep that in your memory and go. Fucking, I had no idea that I could do that before, but I have done this much, so I can keep going. So give that a crack. That's what works for me anyway. Most of the time, <laughs> I am human. I wish I was a robot ninja. Mr. Wizard 23. Fucking that's a loud truck. Big truck. Dude. That's Coal Chamber, some old cool metal. But anyway. Uh, Mr. Wizard 23 says, Will I play Minecraft with Maz? I talked to Maz on the weekend, and that's a yes. Yes, I will uh, sometime. I don't know shit about it now, because Maz was showing me new Minecraft with all the updates. Like, I watch his videos and stuff, but he was explaining more of it to me. And the last time I think I played it, done two random live streams. One was with Cage, where Maz went out to eat pizza for a family thing, and he said, you two do a live stream now! And we ran around Minecraft and entertained everyone. And I had no fucking idea what I was doing. I was like, KJ's Achilles heel. Achilles heel. She had to look like look after me. And the other time, me and Maz did it. And that was after a few beverages. So, yeah, that was... And Maz was like, oh, what are you doing, Spud? So, yeah. I... I Shouldn't have really reminded him about that. He'd be like, oh, you're not playing anything. Fucking flies! Get away! Fucking robot ninjas! Be quiet. Okay. So yes, I will. In short. And then I have a question from Jeff R. One Chen. What is my favourite pastime? In this time, this time of year when the weather's starting to get nice and stuff like that, um, it's got to be uh, beach action and barbecues and chilling with all my mates and stuff, so catching up and just getting the social on. Like, obviously, I enjoy my weights and martial arts and, you know, there's lots of hobbies I would like to do. You know, I like, I love my music too. Like, I in this weather, you know, I like to sit outside and play my guitar and chill out a bit. This fly is going to meet a sticky end. You are one loud motherfucker. And you're big too. I haven't done anything to you. I probably smell from my workout, actually. That's what he's doing. He's like, you stinky bastard. Come here. Mm, excuse me. So, yeah, I've got lots of pastimes, but yeah, this time of year as it starts to get closer to summer and the weather's nicer and stuff, I kind of, yeah, I, I enjoy chilling with all the crew and having a good time in the sun, so that'll be my favourite pastime this time of year. And uh, that's all I've got for now, uh, guys, so it's just a little uh, quick update of where I'm at, and I might do some more vlog action over the weekend, like when everyone's... Uh, because I'm house sitting, so I'm gonna have a barbecue and stuff. So hopefully everyone comes on down. I mean, it's only two days away, and I did the invite today, so we'll see who rocks up. <laughs> because I didn't know I was house sitting until yesterday. Arvo. So there you go. This fly. I swear to God, someone ninja this fly for me. Just write kapow or something in the comments. And it'll fucking... So there it is. Uh, I will talk to you guys soon. If you want to leave, any, if you want me to tips and advice. For you, just leave comments, or if you just want to ask me a question, or if you want to ask me something about uh, any of the I Am Sucks team, or anyone that you've seen on any of our channels, just holler at me, and I will do the best I can. Until next vlog, have a good time, and live it, live it up, because the time is now to get amongst it. Alright, talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.